hello all welcome to tech capture so in our playlist learn apache airflow this is our very first video and in this video we are going to jump into the basics of apache airflow so what we'll see in this video so we'll see apache airflow history first and then we'll see how airflow is evaluated across the last few years and at the end we'll see apache airflow features why apache airflow is uh, so popular among the data engineers so there are different ways to use apache airflow and we will see all these different different options to use apache airflow in our further videos in details okay so let's jump into the apache airflow and try to understand what is apache airflow so apache airflow is a open source workflow management platform used for building scheduling and monitoring data pipeline so primarily apache airflow is used for uh, managing building and scheduling the data pipelines but apart from the data engineering also there are different use cases for apache airflow and nowadays it is commonly used for all infrastructure automations workload automation so it is not limited only with the data pipelines okay that one thing you have to remember second apache airflow is open source so it is completely free you don't need to pay for apache airflow license okay so you can use it just by installing on your vm or you can install it on your kubernetes cluster and nowadays the cloud provider started providing the managed version of apache airflow so like google cloud is providing the cloud composer aws is providing the managed apache airflow so these are the cloud providers now taking care of the backend infrastructure so you just worry about your uh, data pipelines okay so these are few things about apache airflow but let's jump into the history of apache airflow because there are some interesting fact lies between the apache airflow history so we'll see how apache airflow is originated who developed apache airflow and how it just emerged as a top data engineering tools across the data engineers okay so in 2014 apache airflow is developed by the airbnb so this is the us based homestay company so they just developed for their in-house requirement for managing their complex workflow and in 2015 they made it open source with the apache license 2.0 okay so from the beginning it was open source so within the two years of making it open source it just gained a lot of tractions from the data engineer so data engineers starting using it starting analyzing these tools and they just started loving this tool so it became a very popular within the short period of time okay and in 2016 this airflow entered the apache incubator program why project entered into the apache incubator program so it is just to grow a healthy open source community for airflow project just to maintain their proper documentation licensing and their contribution model so users and developer across the world can contribute effectively and to add up the apache principle so it is transparency collaboration open development for all so just to follow all these principle uh, airflow entered in 2016 into apache incubator so large amount of developers started contributing to this apache airflow and in 2018 astronomer company introduced the SaaS platform for the apache airflow and within the short period of time again the google launched the managed apache airflow service which is uh, called as a cloud composer and in 2019 then apache just announced this as a top level open source project so this is means this project is stable and mature enough to use in a production it is has a strong and active community and this is fully governed by the project management committee so it is just passed all the quality legal and organization checks so it is ready to use for all kind of a uh, production workflow all kind of data engineering workflow so it is just renowned as officially promoted as a airflow top level project okay so after that in november 2020 aws also launched the managed workflow for apache airflow yes where all the infrastructure is taken care by aws and the user just has to worry about the etl pipelines so after that it just reached to the global audience and it is like kind of the pronoun tool in the data engineering history okay so now it is very popular and it is if you want to just become a data engineer you cannot run away from airflow because most of the industries are using apache airflow even though it is python spark job or any kind of etl elt pipeline you can just orchestrate your etl pipeline using the apache airflow 
So now let's discuss few features about Apache Airflow, why Apache Airflow is so popular, why it is so powerful. So let's talk about some Apache Airflow features. So Apache Airflow is a dynamic workflow generation. So you don't need to worry about a lot of configuration files here. So everything is written in a Python. So all your configuration, all your code, all your logic, all your dependencies, each and everything is just written in a single Python code and that is called as a DAG file. So DAG is nothing but the directed acyclic graph. We can call it as a job or a workflow. Uh, for Apache Airflow and it is having a lot of flexible scheduling feature. It is having rich UI dashboard where you can visualize the DAGs, the dependencies, monitor the task progress, how much time it is taking, which tasks are failed, which are running. You can check the logs, you can trigger the runs manually. It is also having a lot of features, a lot of operators and broad integration across the cloud providers like GCP, AWS, Azure and along with the Kubernetes, Docker, Slack and the other data engineering integrations okay so it is having a lot of pre-built operators in you means you don't need to worry about a lot of coding you can just use a pre-built operator for executing your bash command to call your python workflow to call the sql script you can connect directly with the s3 bucket you can connect directly with the bigquery and just make it powerful etl data pipeline so there is also a task dependency management so you can set the task dependency which task should be executed first which task should be executed after that task and you can just even though let's say something is failed and now you want to trigger some additional actions so you can do that with the apache airflow so these are very great features of apache airflow and we'll see a apache airflow architecture also in detail in our next video so in this video that's it and we will see you in a next video